Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Oltian and today I'd like to talk to you about self-concept. And I will start by asking you this question. Is your ideal self who you would like to be in congruence with your self-image, your actual behavior? Please take some moments and let this question sink in. Is who you would like to be in congruence with your actual behavior? So once self-concept is a collection of beliefs about oneself from an academic point of view, sexually, environmentally, identity, background, and so on. And in general, it answers to the question of who am I? And it is divided into two. It could be effective or ineffective with a self-concept. So let me give you some example about myself when I'm being uh, when I'm having an effective self-concept and an ineffective one. So I'm, being, I'm having an uh, effective self-concept uh, by being open uh, to experiences and realistic and taking things the way they are without being judgmental. And on the other hand, I have to admit that I, I, need, I have a need for gratification and validation. And depending on circumstances, uh, this gives me some low self-esteem. So basically, this, uh, this is when I'm having an ineffective self-concept. Uh, I once saw a video that could be related to self-concept, and it's an exercise that I've done on myself, and, and I really understood how I relate to others in different situations and according to how they interact and they relate to me and how they respond to whatever I'm doing or I'm saying. And the exercise is like this. Imagine you wake up uh, in the morning and you put a superhero cape on. So while wearing this uh, superhero cape, you could do whatever you wanted to do. You could be whatever, whoever you wanted to be without feeling afraid of failure, without feeling afraid of success, because some people are afraid of success as well. Uh, and what changes it might, be, uh, it might bring. Uh, of what other people might think of you. Uh, when you do things in a certain way or you say things uh, differently, what they are not used to do you doing those things or saying those things or behaving in such a way or without uh, doubting your abilities. Basically, the cape is the self-image about yourself and it has the answer to who I am. After you do this exercise, uh, please comment uh, how it has made you feel. Uh, have you felt more confident? Has it boosted your self-esteem? Has it made you more powerful or more trustful in, in your skills and abilities? Did you make you feel uh, fearless or did you make you feel more self-love or you offer more self-care towards yourself or on the contrary to others? Have you taken time to reward yourself? It's so important to reward ourselves, not to expect all the time from other people to be reward to reward us um, to reward us. Because also it's good to reward yourself because you're about to answer to the question what defines who I am as a person, and it's not such an easy exercise because you could be in uh, you could be in uh, contradiction who you really are in contradiction with how you are behaving. So this is really, really power, power, powerful exercise. Uh, before I finish, I'd like to uh, tell you a quote by Carl Rogers, which is really, really dear to my heart. Uh, and sounds like this. People are just as wonderful as sunsets if you let them be. When I look at the sunset, I don't find myself saying, soften that orange bit at the right-hand corner. I don't try to control a sunset. I just watch with awe how it unfolds. So it's the same with people. We are all sunsets. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time, much love to you and goodbye.